My name's uh, Christian Cluey. I'm a uh, board certified radiation oncologist here at the Mays Cancer Center. SBRT is what's called stereotactic body radiation therapy, also known as stereotactic ablative radiation therapy. Basically, the concept with SBRT is that you're using very high doses of radiation delivered in a stereotactic format to limit the dose that goes to nearby tissues. The benefit of uh, SBRT essentially is that we're delivering a very high dose of radiation over a shorter period of time, and we're doing this with essentially millimeter precision. So patients will commit a lot less time to getting their radiation therapy in terms of how many weeks it takes. Uh, and we also limit the dose that goes to nearby tissues, so a lot lower side effects when possible. For prostate cancer, the conventional way of treating prostate cancer included about eight to nine weeks of daily radiation therapy. So that would be about 40 to 45 total treatments uh, delivered over two months. As Technology has advanced over the last few years. We've been able to squeeze this down into maybe four to five weeks or so. And then with this newer technology doing the SBRT, we're able to consent, condense that down to five total treatments over a period of about two weeks. If a patient chooses SBRT or if they're a good candidate for SBRT, they can typically expect much less time dedicated to commuting in and out of the cancer center for treatments. Uh, instead of doing those 40 to 45 visits, we condense it down to approximately five visits. Uh, there are some, some nuances uh, in terms of how to properly prep patients for this, so they can expect a little bit of a longer treatment time on the days of treatment, but substantially fewer treatment days overall. If a patient is a good candidate for SBRT, typically we'll also place something called a rectal space or, right? And this is basically a hydrogel that we'll inject that goes in between the prostate and the rectum to better protect the rectum from the radiation as we're giving very high doses every day. That process takes a couple hours. It's done in the clinic under local anesthesia as well, and it's very well tolerated. While we do treat many men with prostate cancer with SBRT, this technique is also possible for women with uh, breast cancer and also for people with early stage lung cancers. In early stage lung cancers, where this technique was really pioneered, we often treat patients in approximately three to five days. Uh, and then for breast cancers, we treat many patients with simply five days of radiation treatment. There's many reasons to choose the Mays Cancer Center for considering treatment for your prostate cancer. Uh, amongst these is that we have a multidisciplinary team of specialists. So many men that come to the Mays Cancer Center with a prostate cancer diagnosis will see a urologic surgeon who is specializing in oncologic surgeries of the prostate. You'll also see a medical oncologist that focuses entirely on genitourinary malignancies such as prostate cancer. And you'll see someone like myself who's a radiation oncologist that specializes in genitourinary malignancies. In addition to this, we have some cutting edge technologies uh, we also have access to a lot of major clinical trials. 